Minerves. Hi, Faith. How are you? I'm very fine, fine. Thank you. Oh my God, I have a gift for you. I have a gift for you as well. Can you guess what my gift is? Hmm. I don't know. I've not been having a good day. So maybe it's something that is going to make me smile, right? It is. It's something fluffy mm-hmm. and cuddly. Should I close my eyes? Cute. Yes. Because yes. I also have a gift for you. Really? Yes, I do. Oh my God. Something that you really, really wanted. Really? Yes. Okay. Maybe we can give in. in, 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 in Count in, in, of three, okay. yeah? Okay. One, two, three. Ta-da! Oh my awesome. god, my phone, you know, broke. Thank you so much. Thank you so oh much. Oh my god, thank you. And there's so many things that we can be thankful to God for. You know, God gives us so many things, and the much we can do is just say thank you to Him. I agree, I agree. Oh, wow. Like, so, like for me, today I'm alive. I'm so thankful to God. Yes, I am healthy. I'm not coughing. We are very, and we are under shelter. Yes. We have clothes. Yes. There's so many things we can say thank you. And I know even at home, you can think of a million things that you can tell God thank you for. I agree. Yeah? I agree. So before we start the service, I think Teacher Joy will pray for us. Yes. yes. Yay. Yay. Okay, let's, hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's pray. Let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God. Dear Dear God, God, thank you for the week I had. Thank Thank you you for for the the week I had. Thank you for who I am. Thank Thank you for who I am. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank Thank you for everything that you've done for me. And thank you for all that you have given me. And And thank thank you for all that you have given me. Right now, right right now, now, I set everything aside. I set everything aside that I may worship you. That that I may worship you. You are God. You are God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. amen. So now, uh, I welcome Chandinette to do the recap for us and to, yeah, start the praise and worship. <laughs> so, uh, we've been talking about prayer because this has been our month of prayer. So I hope you guys have been praying at home with your parents, with your siblings, with your families. I hope you guys have been taking time to pray. Also, we've been talking about four gentlemen. We've been talking about Daniel and... Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. And Abednego. And so we've been looking at their lives and how they were just so faithful before God. Last week we were talking about Daniel. Daniel who used to pray, uh, who used to pray three times a day. And people were not so happy about it. And so they went and snitched on him, you know, to King Darius. And so when uh, King Darius heard about that, uh, he asked his, his, his uh, officials, what are we supposed to do? And so the officials were like, you know what, take this guy and throw him. In the lion of dens. I mean, sorry, in the den of lions. <laughs> in the den of lions, you know. And so I can imagine just how scared Daniel must have been. If you guys were told that you were going to be thrown into a den of lions, wouldn't you be scared? I'm so scared. Very scared. But, and so Daniel had to be put in there. But even then, Daniel did not forget or stop praying to God. And even you, sometimes when drama is happening, pray, you know. And so we're talking about praying continuously. And praying all the time. And so today I want us to talk about something else. A very, very important uh, part of prayer. And that is giving thanks to God. And that is giving thanks to God. But before we listen to our lesson for today, let me welcome the praise and worship team. Let's do worship. Yay. Yay. Are you ready? Are you excited? I am. Yes. Yes. Oh, I would like us to sing this song. I don't know if you know it. Maybe you can teach the guys, you know. He said, I will enter. This is from the book of Psalm 100. Psalm, you know the Psalm in the Bible. So Psalm 100 verse 4 is the song that we're about to sing. It's a very, very beautiful song. You will know it. It's, I will enter his gates, his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Okay, and so that's the song. So maybe we could sing it together. Uh, This is how we are clapping. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me I 
has given us a beautiful day and so we are glad and we give thanks to God for that. What about this one? Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks. Do you know the song? For all that you have done. And this is something that we usually do a lot. Even when we are doing our prayers every day, we say thank you, the l- thank you God for the week I had. You know, for all that you have done for me, we give God all the thanks. So yeah. Okay, let's sing it together. Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all you've done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest, oh Lord. I give you thanks. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all.
are so grateful to you and we are so thankful for all that you have done for us. You've been with us throughout the month of September. You have guided us. You have protected us. We are having health. We are having food. We are having clothes. We are having shelter. We are just so thankful, oh God, for all that you have done for us. And we are, thank you, Lord. we are thankful, Lord, because of who we are, because of who you have created us to be, boys and girls. Lord, you have created us. You have created us to be brothers and sisters. You have given us our parents. You have given us our friends, our relatives, everywhere where we are, everything that we see. You have given us life, oh God, and you've given us salvation. And so thank you. Thank you, oh God. Receive all the glory and all the honor. And yes, Lord, every Sunday we set aside time just to worship you. And so, Lord, this Amen. is what we bring to you. And our now, we went to welcome of the gratitude of the day. Welcome. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 My name is Hawi Mukenya and I'm going to say a memory verse and I'll sing a song. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Now I'm going to sing a song. Tis thy gift to be simple, tis thy gift to be free, tis thy gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, to be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we shan't be ashamed. To turn, to turn, will be a delight till by turning, turning will come round right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tis thy gift to be simple, tis thy gift to be free, tis thy gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, to be in the valley of love and delight. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our service today. This week you did a story on Daniel, and we continue on the story of Daniel. Before I forget, this is Teacher Grace. I hope you remember me. Hello, the Ruby class. Hello. Back to our story. Our story is about Daniel. If you remember last week, Daniel was put in a den of lions. And what happened? Do you remember? Was he eaten? No, he wasn't. What happened? God shut the lion's mouth and the lions could not eat Daniel. So Daniel left the lion's house and went on. Our story today is coming from the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 14 to 23. It tells us about Daniel showing um, King Nebuchadnezzar what he dreamt. The king had a bad dream and he wanted to know, what does this dream mean? But nobody could tell him. All the wise men that he called, they couldn't tell him. And you, you know what the king did? The king decided to make a very harsh judgment on them and said, if nobody can tell me about my dream, then you're all dying. All of you should be put to death, including Daniel. So when Daniel heard that this is what is happening, in verse 16 we are told, Daniel went at once and obtained royal permission for time so that he could tell the king what he had dreamt about. And do you know what Daniel did? He went and prayed and he asked God, God, reveal to me what is the king dreaming about? And anytime we trust in God, do you know what God does? He 
he listens and God listened to Daniel and God told Daniel this is what the king has dreamt so we are told that Dan God revealed to Daniel on that same night the mystery was revealed to Daniel in verse 19 we are told and he praised God of heaven because he was able to tell the king what the king had dreamt about and saved all the wise men who would have been killed because they were not able to tell of the king's dream. And what do we get from this? Even in verse 20, we are told, God is wise and powerful. Praise him forever and ever. And we should continue to praise God forever and ever. What do we learn from this story? That Daniel chose to seek God. When he was, he had no other way, he prayed and he talked to God. And God, in the midst of all the troubles, God answered the prayers by revealing to Daniel what the king had dreamt about. And what else do we learn from this story? We also learn that after all this, Daniel went back and thanked God for it. Do you give thanks yourself? When somebody says thank you to you, how do you feel? You give a big smile and you feel nice inside. You feel a, a little jump inside, isn't it? And that is how Daniel went back to God. Do you think God also feels good when we say thank you to him and appreciate him? He surely does. So we should always give thanks to God. That's what we learn from Daniel. And Daniel also acknowledged that without God, he would not be able to do this. He acknowledged that it is only through God that he was able to come through for the king and sort the mystery out for the king. And from all this, we learn that it is very important to say thank you to God and to appreciate God for all that he does for us each and every day. As we go out this week, remember, say thank you if somebody does something to you, say thank you. Something small, something big, say thank you. And always remember to say thank you to God and depend on God for everything. Because when you ask him, he answers you. And remember to say thank you. Give thanks to God. Okay, let's close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. And thank you that whenever we talk to you, Lord, you listen to us and you answer our prayers. Father, we just want to thank you for being a God to us and for loving us so much because we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed week. Hi, so I hope you've had such a wonderful service and you've learned a lot about prayer and that you're going to be praying every day and giving thanks to God. So much thanks because today was about thanksgiving and how we can pray to God to tell him thank you for all the things that he's given us and all the things that he has done for us. So we're going to go to our memory verse, which is the same as the one for last week. So I hope you remember, but I'll just read it so that we can... We call it together before we read it again to, together. So it comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 4, verse 2. And it says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Can we say it together? Yes. Colossians, chapter 4, verse 2. Colossians, chapter 4, verse 2. It says, It says, Devote yourselves to prayer. Devote yourselves to prayer. Being watchful and thankful. Being watchful and thankful. Yes, so as we said last week, devoting yourself to prayer is being continuous and not ceasing in prayer. Pray all the time. When you have a problem, when you want to say thank you, or when you just want to talk to God, always remember to say a prayer. So, yes, and uh, as we close, we want to also remind you that Money for Jesus is on our pay bill 488 700 account name k3c once again i'll say pay bill 488 700 account name k3c so don't forget to put and send your money for jesus yes so i hope you enjoyed and before we finish we have one last thing to show you and to have fun with you and dance with you thank Yay. you are you ready yes Yay. 
Zaburi 136. Tumshukuru Bwana na tuimbe pamoja. strong strong and then on saturday on saturday uh parents if it's possible uh please allow your children to join us uh all the children in nairobi will be praying all of them in nairobi actually the whole of kenya will be praying together and so welcome to our children's uh africa children's day prayer day it's going to be this saturday 3rd of october uh yeah we'll be meeting on zoom uh we'll put up a, a zoom uh, meeting for all of us and then we can pray together and so welcome welcome let us pray together everybody all the children in nairobi will be praying all the children in kenya will be praying all the children in africa will be praying on this particular day and so don't be left out okay yeah and so god bless you may you have a beautiful beautiful week may you have a wonderful day may the lord bless you may he shine his favor upon you may he like open doors for you may he comfort you may he give you a hug when you're feeling so so sad and continue to be persistent in prayer. The Lord bless you. I love you so much. We all love you so love much you. and we miss you. Have a beautiful week. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Yes, thank you for responding. Welcome to Arts and Craft for week 4. So today what we're going to be doing is Thanksgiving. Wow. Yes, nice. yes, yes. And we're going to do two things. One for the junior classes and the other one for the senior classes. Okay. Okay. Yay. So for the juniors, we're going to start by folding our pieces of paper. We want to make like a zigzag shape. You get? Okay. Like, <laughs> we want to make a zigzag shape. So? Le like, like the stairs. Yes, like the stairs. So okay. we fold into two and then fold again and then fold again till like it's a couple of them. Okay. So we can How fold. How big? So big, like so that yeah, not so big. Fold like. Let me count how many times. Continuous. So we are supposed to start with getting a piece of paper. Yes. Guess what else? Get a piece of paper uh -huh. and a pencil. And a pencil. Or like a marker pen or, or a, a felt pen, pen, whichever you have. Or yes. Or crayon. Or even a crayon, yeah. Okay. Eh. And then now, after that, mm. you fold. I folded mine three times, so it looks like this. 
I folded mine three times. I, I folded the first time like that into half, the second time again like that, then the third time, so like that. So I folded, when you open it, that's how it will look like. It looks like a zig, 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 zig. Yeah. So, okay, I'm thinking what we can do. I was just folding like that so that we can know the lines. So we can fold in and out, in and out, the way Chia Jeanette is doing. You fold in and out, in and out, so that it appears now nicely. It looks like that when we open it. Okay. So I hope we all have something that looks like this. It looks like the same the same thing I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like stairs. You see, when you put them like that, it looks like stairs. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so what I want to write on the top here is a text that says counting your blessings. Okay, I want us to write count, not counting, count your blessings. Count. You know that song? Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. by one. What the Lord has done. Yeah. So, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Everyone has written, Cha Faith has written, Cha Jeanette has written. Okay. Okay. Then, so now we are counting our blessings. Okay. So we are counting our blessings. So we are going to write one, two, three, four, blah, 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 till like, how many spaces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven spaces. So you can you can fold it into even smaller smaller uh, rectangles so that you get as many spaces as you want because we all have so many blessings. They are not seven. Imagine there are so many. There are so many. Yeah. So we can write number one. Okay. Who can? What can we write for number one? The gift of, the gift of life. The gift of life. Yeah. yeah. Number one can be life. Life. God has given us has given us to be alive for the whole week. Up I to know. today. Mm. Mm. That's a long time. It's a long, very long. So you write life. Then number two, Chia Jeanette, what can we write? Um, my family. Yes, number two, we can write family. And you can also decorate your stuff. Like on family, you can draw a love heart. Okay. Yes, family. Then... Number three, I can say, uh, I'm thankful for my friends. So number three, can write friends. Then you can maybe draw even a flower. With different colors. Yes, if you have colors, you can write with different colors. You can color everything the way you want it to look like. All those things. So friends. Yeah, Chia Faith has drawn her friends. Flower has, has a pot. She has a pot. <laughs> Mine is just, does it even look like a flower? Mine. Or it looks like a butterfly? <laughs> 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 Let me put a stem on mine. Maybe, maybe we can also pray, thank God, we can thank God for, we can thank God for, may I have life and family and friends. And my number four is food. Food. Number four, we can write food. Yeah, God has given us food. You can draw a, a, chicken, a chicken there or <laughs> spaghetti <laughs> or rugali. Yeah, I like pizza. Pizza and broccoli. We have drawn rugali. So... That's food. 
Shafiq, what what can we write for number five? Pizza. Hey, shh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for Jeanette, yours is pizza. Yeah, I threw pizza. <laughs> Health. That we have not been sick. Right, even when uh, when many people have been sick, even with the COVID, yeah, yeah we have we've been healthy. healthy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For me, number six, I can say, shelter. Shelter. Wow. Yes, that we're able to even have like a roof over our heads, even during, especially during this period. So I'm going to draw like, a house. So shelter. That place for life. See, I can say life like salvation because now Jesus has given me eternal life. Yes, yes. Over here for life, you can say also salvation. Yes, through Jesus we get eternal life. Then number seven, Shajinet or Shafiz. What other? So we have clothes. Hey, you oh, have my house. house. Yeah, I have a big eh. house. Hey, you That's do the estate. <laughs> <laughs> You're thankful to God for your entire estate. Yes. That's where the you whole neighborhood. <laughs> the entire neighborhood. <laughs> no, no. This is my future house. Oh. Hey, sh nice. Uh -huh. Then number so seven. Number seven, yeah. clothes. clothes. Yeah. Cold right yeah. now. How to draw clothes? For me, I don't know how to draw clothes. <laughs> I can draw a skirt. I don't know if it looks like a skirt, but that is my skirt. <laughs> hey, the rest of the people here are artists. They are taking their time to draw. Me, I have. I've already finished mine. Yes. So anyway, maybe as Shajinet and Shafei show you what they have d drawn and done. <laughs> Mine even has shoes. You people, you hey. don't wear shoes. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, so this is how it should look like when you finished. Maybe yours can be more colorful. You'll use colors and you can even paint and do all these things. But then it will look like this. And then you can hang it in your room for the week. And yeah, and you can put as many, as many, as many as you want. So that you count and your blessings. blessings. Yes. Just the ones you've written. Exactly. Different ones. And then you can also share them with us so that we see what you've been able to do. Yeah. Hang it in your room. And then you, when you see it, you'll be able to remember and thank God for your blessings. Okay. This is so cool. I think I like it very much. Because... Each of these blessings that we have even written today, yeah. we can we, we can have like sub things, sub sub blessings. Cause like family, there's there's my mom, family, there's mom, dad, dad my brothers, sisters. my sisters. There's also Kukash, Shosho, cousins, cousins, aunties, aunties uncles. uncles, and then also we have other family members who are not really in our family. Yeah. Maybe like even step family, half yeah. families, yeah. or even adopted, adopted families. Yeah. You know. yeah. Even Friends. our pets fall under family. Yes, your dog. So you say you're thankful your for your pets. Okay, your so you your make hamster. even even you don't have to even write family. You can write the whole list. You can write mom, dad. dad yes. So and so you write the name of your sisters, your brothers, your fam your relatives, everyone. Okay. And, and, and then also this one for friends. Then we have like so many friends. We yeah. also have enemies. <laughs> you pray for all of them. <laughs> we pray for enemies. Yeah. <laughs> The Bible says we need to pray yeah, for our enemies. Yeah. Yeah? So even our friends and enemies. and All of them. And some <laughs> friends are very, very close. They are best friends. And then others are not really that yeah, close. But they are still your friends. Yeah, Yeah, yeah true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed what we've done. This Yay. is for Topaz and for Ruby. Please remember. And then you share. You can ask your parents also to help you. Yeah, mommy yes. and daddy needs to help me. So yeah. now for the seniors, we can move on to the next one. For the seniors, what we are thinking is you can write a journal. Not a journal, but like, I don't know how to phrase it, but it's sort of like a journal. Okay, so you say, 
um, today I am grateful for. So it's something you do each and every day. So we can all write on our papers, today I am grateful for. So it's like, like a daily dot, entry. Dot, dot, dot. Eh? It's like a daily yeah, entry. Yeah, it's like a daily entry. Like a dear diary. Yeah. Today I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so you write it like that. Today I am grateful for. Yeah. Then you have the rest of this space to write whatever you are grateful for. The same way we have written like uh, for the other class. You now you don't have to like list it down. You can just write uh, family. You write family there. You put a comma. You write life. Comma. You write friend. So we'll repeat what we've written here so that we don't give you a cheat sheet. You'll have to write your own things that you're grateful for. So after friends, there's food. There's health. There's shelter. Yeah. Clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. PlayStation. All these things. So you write a whole list. It, it, it will be endless for sure. For miles, there's, there's uh, weight. Miles, I can see you. Your weight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, miles has weight. So Jeanette, you can show yours. Yes. So that's how it will look like. And each day, you can now put in an entry for whatever it is you're grateful for. And you write the whole list. Even if that day you are able to meet a friend, you can write, today I'm grateful that I met my friend. If you're able to eat a nice meal, you can say, today I was grateful because I ate this. All those things. If you're able to, uh, what else, to play a game, you say you're grateful for that. If you're able to go and visit your cousins, you're grateful for that. All those things. If you're able even to have access to learn or even watch a nice movie, all these things are things we should be grateful for. So, yeah, yeah. that's basically it. You can also be grateful that we are able to go to school. For some yeah. of us, have opened yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. So, that's all. Go to school. Yeah. So, all those things are things we should be grateful to God for. Yeah. So, hopefully you've enjoyed that. And you can send in your photos of your entries for all the things you said you're grateful for. Yeah, and we'll be able to check them out and be happy and appreciate. So I hope all of us have enjoyed and had fun. I think us, we have. We've There's been able so to. Oh, let's so show both of them. There are so many things you can be thankful yeah. for. So many. Yes, let's stay up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones for teacher faith. Uh huh. Mine. And then for teacher Jeanette. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us for our uh, arts and crafts. We will see you hopefully next week. Yeah, and make sure you do all these things. So when we finish, since we finish, we can pray. We can say a short prayer. Okay, let's put our hands together, bow down our heads, and close our eyes and pray. Thank you, God, for this opportunity even to do the arts and crafts, to be able to learn what we are grateful for and to be able to even recognize and acknowledge the things you have done for us and what we should be grateful for. We pray that even as we do the activity, that we'll have fun and enjoy and give thanksgiving for all these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Have a nice week. Bye. Bye. Yeah.